Speaking of MLAs, we have a few here who are meeting with teachers and talking to teachers and supporting teachers. I'd like to invite up to the stage Rob Fleming, education critic for the NDP, John Horgan, leader of the NDP, and their crew. What a great crowd of public education defenders. Irene Lanzinger is absolutely right. We know what a cowardly liberal looks like who locks their office and hides from their constituents. So I wanted to bring a crew of hardworking new Democrat MLAs up here on the stage who've been standing with teachers, with kids and parents and for public education in British Columbia. George Heyman, Judy Darcy, Mabel Elmore, Carol James, Michelle Mungal, and a guy I'll introduce in a minute, Gary Holman, Jenny Kwan, David Evey, and Maureen Karajanis. For those of you who've been keeping score at home on the truth this week, I can count with one finger the true things that Premier Christy Clark said. She said for the umpteenth time, the bargaining system in education in British Columbia is broken. And no one knows better than Christy Clark because she broke it. What, what was her first clue, by the way? Was it the 500,000 kids who've been out of their schools in the longest education dispute in the history of this province? Was that clue number one? Was it the parents who are scrambling to find the disruption in their lives and a way through it? Was it the disrespect to the men and women, the 41,000 professional teachers in this province who haven't been teaching in a classroom for three months? What was your first clue, Christy Clark? The Premier's been really, really busy pointing fingers at everybody but herself. I want to ask Christy Clark this. Isn't it time that you started to live in the credibility zone? failed leadership looks like. We have had to live with it for a long time now. We have paid a heavy price. Families right across British Columbia. And you know what? People are looking to the alternative. People are looking for strong, compassionate leadership that values public education, that respects teachers, that rejects confrontation and provocation because that doesn't get us anywhere except where we are here today. And it's my great pleasure then to introduce that leadership alternative to you here tonight to hear a few words, the leader of the BC New Democratic Party, John Horgan.